Hey what is going on guys, it is the Purge and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you the ultimate glitch guide for Fallout 4. How to get the best start imaginable when you start the game if you wait a measly hour and a half. Well, if you do these tasks over an hour and a half, you will be able to have any level that you want. Any amount of caps you want, any amount of items and resources that you want, along with the best power armor in the game and the best automatic weapon in the game in an hour and a half. You can do all of this, I promise you this is legit, this isn't some nonsensical nonsense where I fail it. No, you can really do this. Now this video will show you how to do all of these glitches from level 1, but you can do this from any level that you want. You can use a pre-existing character if you want to do these glitches, but I'm going to be showing you how to do it from level 1 because I can just show you that you can do it from any level whatsoever. So, let's begin the video. But before we get into it guys, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. We are so close to 8,000 subscribers. Um, if you are interested in learning more about the channel um, and what's going to be coming, uh, please check out the update video I literally just posted. I post these two videos together. Um, so yeah, check out that update video. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So guys, starting the game, we are going to create our beautiful characters. Look at this. Oh, you're a beautiful man and woman. Now we're going to bounce around the house for a while until the Voltex salesman gives us a knock at the door and we input our stats. We're going to name our character and then we're going to put in these stats here. We're going to make sure that we have maxed out our endurance and as many points in agility as possible, along with six points in charisma. That's all we need. Now that we've done that, guys, the TV man's going to tell us the bombs are going to fall and we're going to race on over to the vault, do the intro sequence where Kellogg murders our wife, oh no, uh, and then leave the vault and finally enter the world of Fallout. Now the first thing that we're going to do once we have left the vault is we're going to open up our Pip-Boy and we're going to mark this area on the map here. This is Saugus Ironworks and Saugus Ironworks is going to provide us an invaluable tool to get infinite XP. Saugus Ironworks holds the Picket Fences magazine for building statues and when you build statues in Fallout 4 you get an insane amount of XP. So that is where we're going to be going first. Now the journey on over there is quite treacherous so make sure that you have the difficulty set onto very easy and save frequently because you may die on the way there. Once you've arrived there guys, what you want to do is save the game and ensure that you do not trigger any of the forged around because they will come and murder you. What you want to do is watch the exact route that I take here. I'm going to let the whole thing play out, um, but you need to know where you're going. What you want to do is follow the exact route I take and you'll eventually end up in the room with slag. Once you end up in the room with Slag, you want to walk up where I am here and you want to pick up the Picket Fences magazine. This magazine is going to let us build statues and all you want to do now is simply run out and go the way that you came in. So now that we've acquired the Picket Fences magazine, what we want to do is continue running away from Saugus Ironworks until eventually the Forged are no longer after us and we can fast travel away. Now we want to fast travel to Sanctuary and once we are at Sanctuary we can begin the first set of glitches. What we want to do is go into the workshop mode and go around and scrap all of the broken lampposts around the settlement. These lampposts are going to give us broken light bulbs within our inventory and these broken light bulbs are made of copper which is the material used to make the statues. Now the first glitch that we are going to perform here guys is what we're going to do is we're going to open up the workshop and we're going to get the broken light bulbs and we're going to scrap them and turn them into pure copper and this glitch is going to be the duplication glitch so what you want to do is get the copper and you can do this with any item whatsoever within reason this can be done with adhesive with oil with literally anything you can do this with anything whatsoever um, but you can't do it with weapons or you can't do it with ammo this can only be done with buildable materials 
So what you want to do is drop the copper on the floor, but you can do this with any item, but we're going to be using copper so we can get infinite XP. You want to drop your copper or any item on the floor, and you want to go into the workshop mode. Now, if you have six or more of an item, it will lump into one big pile, but if you have less than six, it's going to lump into lots of different piles. Here I have a couple of piles of copper, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the scrap button and immediately press the store button afterwards. You want to tap the scrap button, and as soon as you tap the scrap button, a millisecond afterward, you want to hold in the store button so on Xbox it is tap the X button and immediately after you've let go of the X you want to hold in the store button now there is a bit of a learning curve to this you might not get it on the first try or even the first few tries but keep at it it 100% works this still works in 2022 2023 2024 this will never be patched so again, what you want to do is tap the scrap button and immediately afterwards hold in the store button. And what you want to do is press A on scrapping the item and also storing the item. And this will duplicate the item inside of the workshop. Now what you want to do is simply repeat this process over and over again. Um, if it's getting annoying having too many piles on the floor when you keep dropping the copper or any of your item that you're duplicating, what you want to do is simply pick up all of the items on the floor and then re-drop them and they should lump into one big pile. Sometimes this doesn't work for some reason, it has happened to me, I have no idea what causes it or how to fix it, but if you reload the game or play it another time I'm sure it will fix that, but it doesn't really matter, that's just a slight nuisance, uh, a slight annoying thing that may happen. But the duplication glitch works regardless, all you want to do, tap X and hold in B and then simply scrap the item and also store it and this will let you get infinite buildable materials. So once you have got a substantial amount of copper, here I have a few thousand, what we want to do is begin the XP glitch. The XP glitch is incredibly simple, what you want to do is go to a settlement that you don't really care about, I'm just going to be using Sanctuary because I'm never going to play on this character again, um, but go to a settlement that you don't really care about and that you can fill up easily. Now what you want to do is simply build as many statues as humanly possible until the settlement doesn't let you build anything else. Once you've done that guys, what you want to do is scrap the final thing that you've placed so that you can build one more thing in the settlement and all you want to do is align your thumb across the A and X button on the Xbox controller or the X and square button on the PS4 controller aka the place and scrap button at the same time. If you spam down your finger on these two buttons, what will happen is it will place the statue and also scrap the statue immediately afterwards. Um, which ensures that you can just simply sit there and spam X and A, spam your thumb, and you can do this for as long as you want and you'll get infinite XP. Now this is one of the fastest ways to get XP in Fallout 4. This is an incredibly simple glitch. All you have to do is simply spam those two buttons and you will get an insane amount of XP. Now you can do this glitch as long as you want. You can get to any level that you want. It will take longer the higher the level that you are, but you can do this forever, whenever you want, and you can come back to it, do whatever. But yeah, that's how you do the infinite XP glitch. Now we're going to move on to get infinite caps, and infinite caps is utilising what we've learned in the previous two glitches. What we are going to do is we need to acquire a minimum of 300 caps. We also need to go into our perk chart and acquire the second rank of local leader at a minimum. If you want to make higher rank stores, uh, and stores that can hold more money and thus generate more money when we're doing the duplication glitch, you also want to get rank 2 of cap collector. So I got myself to level 20 using the XP glitch, um, but if you are already level 20 you can just buy them, buy the perks immediately, or you know, get yourself to level 20. So once you've done that guys, what you want to do is acquire a minimum of at least 300 caps and a maximum of 3000 caps. Now, if you don't have 300 caps, if you've just started a new save like I have, I don't have 300 caps, all you want to do is simply go to the Drumlin Diner or anywhere on the map and just sell all of the stuff that you have and you'll make 300 caps incredibly easily. Once you've got 300 caps, what you want to do is go to your settlement and you want to open up the store section where you can build your trading stands. Now the cheapest store uh, is the 300 cap general trader store or if you have more caps and the second rank in cap collector, you can build the 3000 cap armor stand store which will net you 1500 caps every time you duplicate it. However, if you are using the 300 cap store, it will net you 150 caps every time you duplicate it. Now what you want to do guys is simply perform the duplication glitch on this store. You want to place the store down, scrap it and also store it at the exact same time. You want to tap the scrap button and immediately afterwards hold in the store button and then simply do both. This will allow you to get infinite caps and you can do this for as long as you want and if you are starting off on the low rank trader store, simply work your way up until you've got enough caps to build the higher end stores where you can get 1500 caps every single time you duplicate. Now once you've done this glitch enough, what you want to do is simply retrieve your caps out of the workshop, go into the workshop and if you scroll along to the misc section you will see all of the caps that you have just got. Bada boom, hurrah, you are now rich. 
Now a word of warning about doing this, make sure you don't go over around 70,000 caps. If you go over 70,000 caps, it does glitch out, and if you take them out of the workshop, then your caps might glitch out and turn into like 10,000 or even fewer. Um, so make sure you don't go over 70,000. You can take, go to 70,000 and then take them out of the workshop and then repeat again, um, but make sure you don't go over 70,000 while they're still in the workshop. So, in a short space of time, we've unlocked the power to have infinite XP, to have infinite caps, and also infinite items. But now what we want to do is acquire the best power armor in the game and the best automatic weapon in the game within an hour and a half of starting our save. Now, this is only possible if you have the Nuka World DLC. If you don't have the Nuka World DLC, unfortunately, you aren't going to be able to do this. However, there are a whole host of other amazing sets of power armor or other amazing weapons in the Commonwealth. Um, you are free to go and acquire them, and you don't have to watch the rest of this video. But if you do have the Nuka World DLC, and you want to get the best power armor in the game, and the best automatic weapon in the game, then continue watching. So what we're going to do is head on over to the Nuka World Transit Center, and once we've arrived there, what we want to do is simply kill all of the evil gunners harboring the area, and then we want to head on over to Nuka World. Now every time I've arrived at Nuka World in the past, I've been a high enough level to where I've been able to lockpick any door or hack any terminal, so it's incredibly easy to get through the gauntlet, and I've also had an incredible amount of health. However, here I was not a high enough level uh, to do these things, I did not have the required perks uh, to run through the gauntlet easily, and if you don't either, make sure that you do, um, but if not, um, it's relatively simple, you can find the keys and find the, uh, the passwords for the terminals, but what you want to do is simply run through the gauntlet, again, make sure that you are a high enough level and you are capable enough to do this, you have a, a decent enough weapon to do this. I went and got the Overseer's Guardian um, so that I wasn't completely um, outmatched by everything in the gauntlet, but once you've done that, all you want to do now is simply defeat Coulter, it's incredibly easy, acquire the water pistol, shoot him a few times and boom boom boom, he's dead. Now that we're in Nuka World, what we want to do is acquire the Problem Solver, which is the best automatic weapon in the game. What we want to do is head on over inside of the pack area where we can talk to Mason. When you talk to Mason, what you want to do is simply use every single negative speech option, aka just spam the B button until you get to the end of his dialogue where you pass a charisma check and he will give you this weapon. This weapon does more damage for every consecutive hit you have on the same target. This weapon is absolutely amazing, and once you've acquired this weapon, and if you want to get an extraordinary amount of ammo for this gun, all you want to do is head on into the Nuka Trading Center, where you can acquire the 7.62 ammo required to utilize the gun. So now we have an amazing weapon, we're an incredibly high level, we have loads of caps, and we have infinite resources. But we want the best power armor in the game now. So what we're going to want to do is head on over to the Galactic Zone. The Galactic Zone is just a way away from the Nuka World Hub. Um, if you head on over there you will find a lot of enemies so make sure again you are prepared to take these on um, but if you just clear out the robots in the surrounding area uh, of the entrance of the galactic zone you will eventually see this area here where you can see the glowing beautiful quantum exo one armor now this armor is usually obtained by completing the star core quest where you have to acquire a bunch of star cores hidden around the map with no quest markers at all and i put this uh, as one of the worst quests of all time in fallout 4 in the video that i did of the top five worst quests it is terrible. However, there is an incredibly easy way to acquire them. What you want to do is head on back to the Commonwealth and you want to get a power armor frame that you really don't care about. You can get it back if you want, but I just suggest getting a power armor frame you don't really care about. Now, the best way to do this if you have just started the game like me is head on over to the Museum of Freedom and get the T-45 power armor on top of the roof when you help the Minutemen. But either way, all you want to do is get a power armor frame. You don't need any armor on it, just a power armor frame. And what we're going to use this power armor frame for is glitching through the glass to get that XO1 armor. Now the glitch to get through is incredibly simple guys, once you've arrived back at the galactic zone with your power armor frame, what you want to do is get right up to the glass and go into third person. Now what you want to do is look to the left and hold in the A button or the X button or the button to exit the power armor. This will launch you out the power armor and you want to immediately spam A to get back in the power armor. If you do that correctly, what will happen is you will glitch through the glass and inside of the little chamber where the XO1 armor is. Now all you want to do guys is simply get out of that power armor frame and get inside the XO1 armor and there you go, you have it. Now if you can't fast travel away because there's enemies nearby like it was for me, all you want to do is the exact same glitch that you did to get in with the XO1 armor, look to the left, hold in the button to get out the power armor and immediately spam it to get back in and now you are outside and you can run away and you have the armor. 
So in an hour and a half, guys, you have got any level that you want. I got to level 50 in an hour and a half. I also got an infinite amount of caps. I got an infinite amount of resources, the best automatic weapon in the game, and the best power armor in the game. This is the ultimate glitch guide, and it is a phenomenal video for any new player of Fallout 4 who wants to make a save where you are god. This is a god save. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel. We are so close to 8,000 subscribers, and there is a lot more Fallout content coming your way. Anywho, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one in a bit.